How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Geek Electric Desktop Heater by Autumn. It's a ceramic heater specially made for your desktop and you can use this right next to your keyboard so that in the cold winter days, you can blow hot air over your finger so you can still have access to your keyboard without wearing gloves and stuff and your fingers won't get frozen from typing in the cold weather. Now let me unbox this and show you all the functions. It comes in a black box like this. Instruction manual, the top, the heater itself, bottom foam thing, nothing else inside, the heater unit itself, untangle this. This is a typical way I think you're gonna use this device. You stick this right next to your keyboard and blow warm air over your fingers so that your fingers stay warm and toasty. The thing I like about this device is that it actually have a real on off switch here. This means that you can actually turn it off and completely disconnect it from the wall power so that it won't draw any vampire power. You see right now, I connected to a kilowatt right now and it's drawing 0.3 watts. Now if you draw 0.3 watts 24 seven and if you pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hour, you're gonna pay about two cents every single month just having this thing connected. So if you're not using it during the summer months, I would recommend you to just flip this switch off or completely unplug it. So now you see it's completely not drawing any vampire power at all. This thing is pretty simple to operate. You have an on off switch here, warm air or hot air, but it says soft and strong, regular wind, which means just no heat at all, and swing, which means it's gonna swing left and right like this. So if I press it on like this, it's gonna start consuming um, 250 watts or so. You see this bar light over here, it's dim red, which means it's on medium power. You see it's consuming about 550 watts or so. If I push the soft strong button, it will make the red light a little bit brighter, which means it's gonna have a higher intensity of uh, warmth. And now on the hot setting, you see it's ramped up to about 1200 watts over here. And if I wanna turn off the heat, I click regular wind, which is just no heat at all. Now you see it consumes only four watts or so and it's just running the fan right now. Now if I wanted to swing left and right, let's see how far it goes left and right. Okay. This angle seems to be targeted at how much you would move your hands around the desk so you have the swing function if you're just moving your hands around a lot. When you turn on the oscillation, it consumes a little bit more power. Before it was four watts, now it's seven watts. The main energy consumption here is gonna be when you have the heater turned on. It's about two orders of magnitude higher than if you just have the fan on. Thanks for watching this review video of this Geek Desktop Heater by Odom. If you're interested in this product, don't forget to check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting my channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.